Born in Salt Lake City in 1915, John W. Gallivan was a newspaper publisher, civic leader, and philanthropist. Today, most Salt Lakers might recognize him most easily as the namesake of Gallivan Plaza in the heart of downtown, but he's played a much more vital role in the history of Utah. As the owner and publisher of the Salt Lake Tribune from 1960 until his retirement in 1984, his was an influential voice in the arena of politics, enough so that President Kennedy invited him and a number of other newspaper men from Utah to visit him at the White House for a luncheon. At the end of this, Kennedy remarked, what can I do for you? And Gallivan responded, well, we have an application in for an area redevelopment administration loan that is going to revive the city of Park City. Kennedy told his press secretary to take care of it, and before the end of the year, ski resorts opened in Park City, much to the benefit of Utahns and Salt Lakers alike. Gallivan also campaigned to bring the Olympics to Utah starting in 1964, which eventually happened in 2002. So important to the bid was Gallivan that he was able to run the torch during the opening ceremonies. He passed away in 2012, leaving behind a legacy that Utah will not soon forget.